Hi, I'm Daniel Stanzel. I'm all line coach for the Helsinki Roosters and today I'll show you a few drills that you can do during your indie period when you work with the old linemen. All right, we're starting with a, a very basic foot fire drill. So here we have the backs in between so the heels don't come together and Tony's just going to focus on having a little bit of forward lean and quick feet. Here we go, down. So, hut. Quick feet, quick feet, quick feet, quick feet. Good. All right. Now, the next step could be that you actually have your o lineman engaged. So Tony is now going to engage against the back and having a little bit more of a forward lean. And on go, he's having the same kind of foot fire. Here we go. So go. Good. All right, now we're going to work the foot fire drill with a little bit of a zone concept, OK? Now we're going to start on one knee because what it forces Tony to do is have a little bit more pressure on the inside foot. We want our right hand up, OK? And as soon as on go, we want to basically shoot our elbows and step with our right foot and foot fire out of the back. Here we go. Down. Set. Hey. Quick, 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 quick. All right, you can do this also for outside zone. So all that really changes is you're going to move the back a little bit more to the side, OK? So now Tony lines up and the one key opponent of outside zone is try to fight the helmet across, all right? So get exactly the same movement, but now we really want to focus that we shoot our head to the side and get the helmet across when we do a zone blocking for outside zone. Here we go, down. Good. All right, now another drill that, especially for the younger linemen that helps them understand outside zone is just being engaged with your head already across, all right? So Tony's gonna start with his head across in the back. I have my weight on him so he feels the pressure and on go, he's just gonna march 45 degrees. Here we go, set, hut! All right, now you can also do it in certain steps. Here we go, ready? Step, step, right, good. All right, next we're gonna do the pop slide. So Tony here is gonna be in a sort of slide protection movement. What he's gonna do, he has his right foot popping into the ground. All right, show that for the, there you go. And the left foot follows, but it doesn't leave the ground. All right, here we go. So that's what it should look like. Again, we have a nice little posture, you know, chest up and pop slide. Here we go, set, go. Good. Now when Tony goes full speed, watch how he has his weight transferred to the right side, okay? He wants to move to the right, so he needs his weight there and the left foot never leaves the ground. All right, let's go 100% here. Down. Yeah. Set. Hey. Set. Hey. Good. All right, next we're gonna work on our kick slide. That means we're gonna go backwards 45 degrees. As you can see, Tony has his weight a little bit more onto the inside foot. We never wanna give up the inside. So he has his weight more to the left foot right now. And now we're gonna do the exact same as the pop slide that our back foot is gonna pop and the left foot is gonna slide, all right? Here we go, let's demonstrate it over here. Let's go 50% uh, right now, down. Set, hey! Good, all right, now we're gonna do this full speed. Again, watch how Tony has his weight transferred to the inside and his chest up. Here we go. Set, hey! Quick, 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 quick. Good. Now this does change a little bit if you're a guard or a tackle. If you're a guard, you don't want to go too far back, right? Because you're more moving to the side. If you're a tackle, you do want to have a little bit more of like a backwards slide. All right. One of the variations you can do here is you basically have your lineman being engaged with the outside hand. You want to focus on a square hip, square chest, elbows in, and he should flex his inside hip a little bit. All right, here you go. Set, hut. Now, when you do the kick slide with a punch, we first have to talk a little bit about the punch itself. Now, what you want to focus on is speed. You want to think about the punch as a jab rather than a hook. All right, so Tony, right here. So, hut, hut. Okay, you can see how the speed comes by him pulling back, right? He also has his chest high and he doesn't lean forward. We don't want to lean forward, okay? We can do that in a run game, not in a pass game. Here we go. So, hut, hut. Good. All right, now we're gonna work the kick slide with the punch. It's very important that you can go in different kinds of speeds. Right now we're gonna go 70 to 80% and we have some control punches in between. Here we go. Go! Good. All right, one of the classics, one of the basic drills is the mirror drill. But especially for young alignment, it's key because they need to understand the concept of rather like shadowing a person than pushing a person. All right, here we go, Tony. 
Hands behind the back, chest out, follow my lead. Go! And stop. All right, now you can combine the two, okay? You basically uh, point to a side where the old lineman reacts and he has to combine the pop slide with the kick slide. Here we go. Okay. All right, of course, there's another warm up drill we do sometimes. It combines the pop slide and the foot fire drill. Here we go. Tony's just gonna move up, sideways, up, sideways. Here we go. Say, go! Quick feet, quick feet, quick feet, quick feet, quick feet. Slide. There you go. Up, 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 up. Slide, slide, slide. Now finish it, finish it. Good. All right, thank you, Tony. Um, there you have it, a very short and basic introduction to some of the drills we do in our offensive line period. Uh, I hope it helps and give us some feedback if you want more videos.